that go. But. Ow. What we're looking at now. Let's bring Klaus back here. Oh, one froze. Oh, shoot. Wrong way, Klaus. I meant left turn. back this way. So, that seems like the height I'll put him at anyway. So, I want to leave three, I guess. Now I'll just leave two. So, forward, left turn, forward, six. Sure. So, I want him to be... Yeah, that's perfect right there, actually. So, that is where one tree will be. I'm just going to lay down these, the dirt. Um, hold on. I got to get over to Turtle. Spider over there. And then I think I'm okay. I'm, should, should, I really shouldn't pause it, but I'm totally going to die if I don't. So... I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, programs... A turtle. Go back into Go here in Notepad. Because I forgot. Cell. That's what it is. I don't know why I forgot. There we go. Alright, so now I want three spaces between them. So I will say... Place down. Now go forward. One, two, three, four. Place down. So that's roughly the layout of my farm now. Just space some of those out. Mmm. I might have to extend the length of this. Whoa! Who's there? Ah, die! Woo! Okay, one more. And, yeah, that's right over the edge, so... <clears throat> I have to extend this, excuse me, another couple of blocks, but that'll be good then. So, go left turn, and then... Ah, uh, yep, another row of trees there. And yeah, that's looking that's looking perfect actually. That's exactly how I'd want this to be. And then because then even spacing will put another set of blocks just right over that way. Alright. This actually probably will work just fine because I'm likely to have way more saplings than I need anyway. So maybe I'll just go ahead and get this little chunk right here working before I worry about worry about anything else. Because First and foremost, an operational farm. All right, so... Hmm... Saplings. I'm not even sure what to do with the extra saplings I'll have, but... Oh, well. Let's bring it forward. Right turn forward. Forward three, right turn. Whoops. Alright, so then I want him to... Clear this out. 
I'm going to try to take advantage of something added to the functionality of turtles, which is their ability to push items across the ground. So I'm going to have him, the turtle, come back over here. And I'll probably take out this end block, have him scoot down at the end, and then just slide. He'll just, you know, move all the way back over to this end. And then suck up the, uh, the stuff when he gets to the end. Oh, that'll be the spot where he will suck everything up from. Okay, so put him into a starting position here. Uh, still just kind of terraforming this whole area. go. That's good enough. Um, oh, wait. What am I thinking of? No, he can't be on that level. He's got to be on the next level. Up. Okay. Mm oh, I got to think about... should definitely use GPS, my, my built-in go-to functionality, I think, um, because um, at least for some moves, because that'll really simplify instead of like having to count and st anything like that. Hum, hum, hum. All right. So one thing he's going to need that I don't think I... Oh, I do have saplings. Okay. And that'll be his fuel, so I'll just put saplings in number one. Sure. And I'm not going to bother with dirt replacement or anything like that. So while I'm going to be doing a long bit of programming... Mm -mm -mm. So let's. I really still don't know what to do with saplings. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Maybe should I just junk them? I mean, really, if they're they're outside of what I want to use or anything like that. I think I will. I'll just just chunk them somehow, throw them away, or something if they're extra. Hmm. Okay. So forward, up, left, turn. Klaus. So. First of all, let's head over to Programs for Turtles, and we're going to need a new one, new text document called Tree Farm. Oh, wait, I have one called Tree Farm. Ha! Huh. Very funny. And it's empty. Perfect. Okay. So first, let's just... Chop tree. And, and okay, so what do we want to do here is N equals zero. Um, 
Google.dig. Um, and see, the other thing here, I need to refresh myself in my own API. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that's... So this is, he'll be, when he's moving, and if he runs into something, detects that there is a tree having grown. He won't do anything else. So he'll detect the tree, he'll dig, go forward, I'll not dig down, and then while tech up do Simple stuff here. Uh, dig up. No, not up. Oops, T. Not up. I equals I plus one. So then, when that ends. Um, well, let's just keep this simple and do while height greater than zero, do t dot down, height equals height minus one. Just, I could do a for loop in that direction, but I worry about my math. <laughs> um, okay, so... He's chopped down the tree. He's back at the bottom. He, he's not quite, he's not exactly at the bottom of the tree. He's one above the dirt block that the tree was on. So then, I don't have a select in here, I don't think, because it doesn't make any difference whether or not I use it. No. Okay, so let's select slot ones where I'll put the saplings. Hold dot place down and then Yeah, that sounds good. That's the, the little chopped tree. Oh, you know what I gotta Ugh, thank you. Okay. So we've got that much. Um so just gonna do main and say while running do end and running equals true. Easy. Just so I can have some kind of graceful termination if need be. Um, and some other parameters I need to provide are um, length, width, and that's in number of trees, not two, three, four, yeah, okay. I don't know, should I hard code my hard code my coordinates in here? I guess I should. It's just just gonna be easier. Um, so, oh, so another function I'm going to want to put in there is grab saplings. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have that there. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so 